In this video, I'm going to talk about Cutout 10 Pro, and this is by Franzese, which I've spoken about before. And if we look at the website that uh, Franzese has got on, this is Cutout 11 Professional. So the one I'm going to be using is uh, the one previous. And every time you see this program, um, you've probably seen this program quite often. And cut out 10 is like the, you would think, well, that's just all it does. So it goes on and on about this thing here. Uh, some outstanding features of cut out and best clipping, um, retouching of uh, cropping, raising and all this type of thing. And yeah, it has all these. Most of the um, the tutorials on this is about the um in german so there's not many videos on about it in english and there's not many videos who don't have anything to do with the company but i'm totally unbiased so anyway i've got two days to try this and uh i have been messing around with it i've actually got cut out 10 5. so we'll start with this interface and one great thing certainly from my point of view is that it has um it has raw features so when you're shooting raw you can use this uh, program and it does very well on that um so when i see the interface is just down here and all the you know wherever your uh, photographs are and stuff like that but i don't really want to concentrate on the cut out part of it really I'll, i will uh, come to that but I, what i want to do about the other features of it it is it is a full-fledged photo editor so you got your menu there and that just goes through a few things there like thumbnails and stuff for the interface and if you come out of this so what we do is we're going to start with this woodpecker so here you've got your view and that and then you just go to the next one and the next one and so on like that so just knock that down the next one is your cutout which is what the program's already basing itself on I think it's selling itself too short on this because I think that if they change the name a little bit, I think more people would be more interested. Batch is where it says you're just adding things there and then you're just changing whatever you want to do with the file or with a photograph. And then of course you've got the print there. So the edit bit here. So we're going to focus on this a little bit. So you've got your madam, which is the cutout. Transform is all about um, cropping, image size, Rotate, rotate, um, rotate right, rotate left, horizontal and all that stuff. And this one here, about your level gamma space, contrast and brightness, it just fell. It's also got this professional cut, which is quite interesting. So what you're doing now is you just have this like that and then you, you can go like that and it changes the whole dynamic of it. And then to go darker, just like you do on most pro programs. And of course you can do, you know, like that. And then you do it any way you want and whatever. So just cancel that there. So, and down here you've got your color, you've got your adjust color, color mixer. And they've got, with all Franz's products, there's always the, the thing outside the box uh to usual companies and i think that's good in many ways the program's not perfect but then is ever um it's like so i don't really need to do that it's not really something um and then you've got your grayscale um and tone adjust film features and, and all that exposure grain sharpness and if you wanted more sharpness and of course when you do sharpen it then you get your grain as well so just cancel that and then enhancements are one that i actually um like using so you've got your noise reduction um you've got your smart arrays you've got defog enhanced dynamic range clear your skin shape adjusting brush or when shape adjusting brush so when you want to change any shape you can do that on it optimizing brush remove red eye so when you look do the red eye if you look to the right that comes up so that's the red eye so these correspond to the features say clear so if there's optimizing brush 
then on the right hand side it'll go there so that's what happens so the, the um So on the enhancements, when you do that, you can, um, you know, like sort of the tools on the right hand side is is just like um, it's within line with each other. Um, another thing, sharpen and blur. Uh, so, for example, if you wanted to blur a background out, style, starlight filters, gradient filters, diffuse filters, and instant filters. And here you have like sort of uh, three one step one step portrait um one step raw and that's just basically this type of thing but then you've got uh black and white so you can put the black and white things on there you just do that i don't personally speaking i think black and white is basically just for portraits i've no i don't use black and white at all really enhance portrait fancy color color filters and style so for example you have this that changes that and that's again it's about preference so if you're putting these on social media um on Flickr or instagram facebook anything like that i mean you can put, put whatever you want really and this is um you know it's got a lot of good um good qualities this program uh, the one I, I like using is Enhance, and then you get your single HDR. And Franz is famous for their HDR program, which is absolutely excellent. I've been buying the uh, 10 Professional one that uh, hasn't been out long. Um, I have bought a few others before as well. Um, so, yeah, so single HDRs, vivid colors. And if you don't want them, you just cancel at the bottom. If you did and then you just apply at the bottom and then okay so I'll just cancel that I'll go back to that in a minute because uh, there is a, a bug in this whether it's in the 11 professionals probably isn't so it doesn't really matter if we do come over to this uh, right hand side like I've said a lot of that corresponds to the left from the left hand side but on here you've got layers so a lot of photo editing programs don't have layers You've got areas and you've got history and of course you can undo and redo and all this type of thing. And um, the other thing, as we'll go back to the cutting, so we'll do inside out. And so we go here up the top and I'll just zoom in on that. So we've got this here. So the outside what I'll use is this. I'm, not, I'm saying I use it. I mean, I don't use it a lot, but anyway you can go like this just very quickly i'm just demonstrating i'm not going to be in you know i'm not going to spend a lot of time on this uh particular thing it's not i, I use it sometime but what um what francis have done here is make a full photo edit and and just like concentrated on the um and and this is the inside and concentrated on just one aspect of the thing and i'm sure if they called it something else i'm not sure about this but i think this program might be called turbo or it used to be i'm not sure about that and things like that um so you just apply and return or whatever i'm going to cancel that it's not something I want to keep what you can you can do things if you wanted to spend a bit of time two and a half three minutes and you should be able to change the background pretty easily the enhancement one it does have a flaw and that's called the style so I'll just wrap this video up and that's um if anybody else wants to ask questions about this program um i'm only too willing to do it i I'm just trying to give an overview um of what's going on and like sort of independent overview if i didn't find a program interesting i wouldn't talk about it so yeah so it's i think it's really good but this part isn't and shuts it down so there's a bug in there but overall i, I really think this is a, a really good program and it's not just for clipping it's not just for um yeah 
you know, your background and all the rest of it. It's a, it's a full, fully fledged photo editor and not a bad one at all. And it's quite cheap. It's only 20 quid. Or should I say 20, 20 um, euros. So I will say what's that? 18 quid, 17 quid, something like that. Definitely not worth a 99 pound. I think that um, both a shampoo, who they affiliated with, I think, um, is... Uh, they always like to wrap, you know, bump uh, prices up and then, you know, you just wait a bit and then they'll just drop it. So once again, thanks for watching these videos. And if you are, as I say, if you have any questions, just get back to us.